Hello, and welcome to our art gallery. Today we wanted to show you an alternative to Seth Bling and Dr. Brian Lorgan's painting chooser. If you haven't seen his video yet, there's a link in the description, and we recommend you check it out, as it's really clever. But now we'll take a look at how ours works, and then we'll discuss the pros and cons of each approach. Okay, so to use our painting picker, we have this book here. If we open the book up, we can see that we've got some basic instructions on the first page, there's a link to give us some item frames, and there's also a link to the wiki paintings page which lists all the paintings by name and image. On the subsequent pages, all the paintings are listed in size order so that we can select them when we want them. Right, so let's have a look for somewhere to put a painting. Ah, here we go, the wither appears to be missing from here. So it's really simple to use. All we need to do is give ourselves some item frames, and then we place the item frame in the bottom left corner of where we want our painting to appear, and then all we have to do is select the name of the painting we want, and there we go, it appears, and the item frame disappears. Job done. The primary advantage of Seth Bling's design is that you do not need to know the name of the painting you're looking for. You could simply cycle through them and preview them right in place. On the other hand, with our design, there are no clocks used in this build, so if you did want to use this in your world, it would not add any extra load. Another advantage with ours is that the item frame we use as a reference point will always be the bottom left corner of the painting, no matter what its dimensions are, so you can always know where your painting will end up. Okay, so the way this works is each one of these tiles of this command block machine represents one of the paintings available in the game. We originally wanted to make this work using custom named item frames, but unfortunately using custom name selectors on item frames doesn't appear to work, so instead we've had to use the scoreboard. So what happens is when you click on the name of the painting in the book that you want to place in your item frame, a redstone block is placed on the relevant tile for that painting. And then it gives any item frame within a five block radius of the player holding the book a score of one. It then places a redstone block above it and each one of these four command blocks represents the four cardinal directions. It's then looking for an item frame facing in the right direction with a score of one, and if it finds one, it will place the picture named here in that item frame, causing the item frame to pop off and leaving you with your finished picture. So, we hope you enjoyed our alternative approach to selecting a painting in vanilla Minecraft. We aren't saying that this is better or worse than what's already out there, it's just different. If you want to have this in your world, we have included a schematic in the description. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, we hope to see you next time.